Today I want to show you an awesome solar power bank I picked up for my next outdoor adventure. What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. It says power bank right there. So it must be a power bank. And I just picked this one up. I'm excited about checking it out because I am going on a trip here. It's going to be about three days out in the middle of nowhere. And I want to make sure that I have power to power up my phone. And this little solar power bank is pretty interesting. First of all, here is the power bank itself. But it looks like we also get a little instruction manual here. And then if we dig a little deeper, it looks like we get a carabiner, which is cool. I'll put that on there. And then a micro USB cable as well. So I think you'll use that if you want to charge things up from the power bank or charge the power bank up itself. Now here is the power bank. It's actually pretty large. Kind of reminds me of like those jacket wallets, but it's pretty thick. Probably an inch and a half thick here with everything included. So plastic textured case right here. This is a flashlight right here, this little frosted lens. So there's an LED flashlight underneath there. Black and orange and little key ring up here. And I think that's where your carabiner would go if you are so inclined to use that, which I am. Then we also have a little waterproof cover up here. And so if I go ahead and pry this up, what we get here are two power outlets, USB ports, and then that micro USB for charging it if you do want to charge it off of power. So this should keep out the water right there. And then we also have a power button. And now if I take this off right here, this little Velcro strap, what you'll see is that this piece folds out and all of a sudden we have three crystalline solar cells right here that are all the size of the power bank itself. Now, I do want to show you I'm outside. It's not the sunniest of days, but this, I believe, indicates that we are getting solar charging because if I close these up, what you can see is that little light goes away. But if I open them up, it means we're picking up sunlight and now we are showing that we are getting power. And it looks like this battery pack is maybe three quarters of a way charged anyway, because it looks like we're flashing on that last one. So that's pretty cool. Now, what's interesting about this is that we have a little wireless charging symbol right there because this power bank is a wireless charger, which is awesome. So I don't need an additional cable. I use the iPhone 13, so it's nice. If I want to charge this, I can put it right on there. It's not blocking any of the solar panels and I don't need to bust out another cord. So I don't need to have cables built in here. Now, the power button on this side actually activates the flashlight on this side, and you clearly don't need to have it open. You can use the flashlight without the solar panel. If I just go ahead and hit this power button on the side, it's actually pretty resistive. Just holds it down like that. It looks like it goes on, so that is on. And if I hit it, looks like we go to a lower mode. Hit it again, goes to SOS signal, actually. If I hit it one more time, we get a little strobe. I think it'll catch people's attention, but it's not super bright. It's definitely diffused through that lens there. And then if I hit it one more time, it goes off. So this will control the flashlight right there, but it actually is pretty nice to hold. If you're holding it like this, you can have that flashlight out. So that's probably gonna be really nice to be able to see things. But what I really love about this is now, what I can do is just set this out all day. And what I am actually gonna try to do is charge my electronics off of this, totally discharge it, put this out in the sun and see how long it takes to get a full charge there. The funny thing about this 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack is that it's taking a long time to run it down. I've had my phone charging on the wireless pad here. I've got another iPhone from dead charging up in the USB port. And I also have it connected here to my Chromebook. And so it's charging that. And so still at 75% charge. So man, it's going to take all night to discharge this before we can recharge it. So after charging up all my electronics, I finally got this thing completely discharged and I thought we would put this down now and use the solar panel. As you might be able to see there, no lights are on, but as I unfold this, we should get the little charging light on and no power in the battery. So the green light there means it's charging and then 25, 50, 75, 100%. Now, one thing I will say about this is that it is December and it is noon. So this is as bright as it's gonna get. And in fact, I can see the sun is over there. So it's pretty low in the sky and it is obscured by clouds. So it's not exactly the brightest day in the world, but as you can see there, we are getting power to it. So if this were summer, high noon, sun right over our head, 
Tucson, Arizona, then I would think that that would be a good representation of how fast we can charge this. But this is probably less than ideal circumstances. So I thought I would leave it out here because really now, from now to the end of the day, sunset here is like four o'clock or something right now. So at most, we're only going to get four hours of sunlight and a lot of that is going to be pretty low in the sky. So I thought we would check it out, maybe even do this over a couple days and see what we can get. All right, it is four o'clock and the sun is just about at the horizon maybe it's already gone down but that's about the best we're going to do is get a couple hours of sunshine and so i want to show you the powell best here and what's interesting to me on this is that it is still charging with just the ambient light that we have you can see that little green light on there and if i just fold up the panels you can see the light is off but if i hit the power button i'm kind of curious to see what kind of power charge we got and looks like it's still on that first one. So my guess is, you know, maybe a quarter charge, somewhere less than that. But we actually do have some power. At least it's registering, which it wasn't before. So that's pretty cool. So I will let it out in the sun and keep charging it up. But I tell you what, this thing, even though it's cold out here, you can see my fingerprints on there. It's pretty cold out here. But this thing is pretty awesome because, yes, I can plug in my electronics into these USB ports. But I can also just put my iPhone right on there and wirelessly charge it. But bam, right there, solar panels so that I can be off the grid and self-sustaining. So if you've got an outdoor adventure and you don't know when you're going to be on power and you want solar panels to keep you going, I think this is the one you want. So I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Banda, out. So much deeper We can live better than Ever things to Peter Peter Von Pei